Hey, hey, all you mechanical maniacs, here's Quasar here, and you are in Quasar's Customs. We are playing Rot to Rad in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Thanks for joining me in this great episode. Um, I will say that um, if it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I'm showing like 60% of the people who watch my videos haven't subscribed, so hey, um, I'd love for you to be a subscriber, so hit that button. Last episode, we brought about this nice Holden. This is a, let me get it right now, E-F-I-J-Y. Um, this is an Aussie car, right? An Aussie concept car. Looks almost like, a, as uh, someone said earlier, a 4950 Merc, um, a Holden uh, concept. So this is, a, in my opinion, one of the nicer looking cars i've seen um as far as a concept vehicle i've seen some really crazy ones but uh yeah this is probably one of the better ones i've seen so on a vote five to three i get to keep it so we get to save this car and we're going to send her to the parking level there we go all right boys and girls that is the name of the game uh rot to rad is uh, just a series that I put together where I hop into the junkyard or to the auction house and find something that's rotten, bring it back into the garage and make it into something radical. At the end of the video, the choice will be yours, whether I save it or I sell it. All right. I am in sandbox mode. So if you look up in the upper right hand corner, I have no level, no dollars. Um, I have unlimited money so I can do just about anything I want to. And, uh, I usually do. So um, we've been having some pretty good luck with the junkyard. So I think we've done the auction house once or twice. Um, but uh, you know what? With the, with the auction house, the only thing with, with the auction house is that I get to pick, right? And sometimes I don't feel like that's fair to the series. If I go to the junkyard, I usually have to pick something that's out of the junkyard, whether I like it or not. Um, so the criteria is that hopefully it has less than 150,000 miles. And that's the only really criteria I have out there and something I haven't built before. And yes, I have a spreadsheet. Yes, I'm crazy. Um, I have a spreadsheet of all the vehicles I've built. So um, I can keep kind of an eye on things. So I'm not building the same car over and over and over again, right? That would be uh, really redundant and uh, kind of crazy. But uh, anyway, we are going to... <sighs> I always do this. We'll go to the junkyard. We'll go to the junkyard. Let's go. Alrighty. Back into the junkyard we go. Uh, you know, I'm really hating the junkyard these days because of my other series, the Barn Bargains. I'm constantly looking for parts, and man, it is just a pain in the balls. Um, what do we have here? We have a Subaru BRZ. This is, uh, I believe this is a lit. Is this a lit special? Let's see. Let's take a look here into the inside. Lit usually puts it right there on the dash. Um, no? No? Or maybe this is a golly. Um, I don't know, but it's a BRZ. It's 82,000 miles. This may be our ticket, boys and girls, <laughs> right off the bat. Um, less than 150,000 miles. And like I said, you know, I don't have the choice. And we do have this slammed version, um, 151,000. This is a supercharged custom. I think this, I might tweak the config on that a little bit. Um, I do have a config for that because I like those old Impalas. Uh, so the, the Subaru looks like it might be the car that we take back. It's only, it's one of the only two that's in here so far. Wow. Really? Nothing? Oh my freaking God. Nothing else is in here. Well, isn't that a kick in the shorts? I guess the Subaru gets to go home with me. I don't know if this thing's going to make it past everyone wanting to save it or sell it. I don't I don't know. Um, all right. Um, I 
don't know what I can do with this bad boy, but we are going to take it, I guess. Uh, okay, so what's the selling price on this? Oh, not too bad. So the buy price is six thousand, and uh, it's I could sell it for seven easily. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it. We're gonna send her to the garage, and then uh, I guess we're gonna go see what we can do with it. All right, let's go back to the garage. Oh, you caught me getting grabbing a grabbing a drink. Oh my gosh! All right. Did a quick look, and yes, this is from Litz. This bad boy. Um, let's go ahead and put, take it and give it a bath, shall we? Uh, so yes, this is from Lit, and believe it or not, this comes in a variety of different types of cars. Like there's a Subaru, there's a Toyota, uh, a couple of different versions, uh, and a Scion. You know what? It's perfect, right? It's perfect for what we're doing here. So we are going to try to build it into something that's going to be worthy, worthy of your praise. So we're going to strip all the body pieces down off here. Just all. Might as well get rid of all of it at this point. Um, let's see. There we go. Uh how do I ever get out of here? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the interior cleaned up. And it is white. I'm not sure I want something white. We may have to go with a different coloring. All right, so how is everybody doing? I hope this video is finding you guys happy and healthy. Man, uh, I have been trying my best to try to, to I'm, I'm all over the place when it comes to gaming, to be quite honest with you. I am just everywhere. Um, trying to play a little bit of everything. And sometimes it gets the best of me, to be quite honest. Um, some games I have actually given up completely, like the, uh, what was it, the shipyard, shipyard, the ship graveyard simulator. I've kind of given that up. It's just kind of sitting on my, my Steam library, not doing much of anything these days. Wasn't, uh, didn't, like, capture me as well as I wanted it to. But that's all right. I've got plenty of other games to play, uh, including car detailing simulator that's been one that's for oddly enough it's really fun to clean cars for whatever reason okay call me a freak but yeah <laughs> it's it's kind of strange the way that's kind of an addicting type game um animal shelter another one who i mean who in their right mind wants to sit there and try to take care of dogs and cats on a video game I don't know. I'm just, it's just me, I guess. I don't know. Now, when it comes to vehicles, right, and cars and stuff like that, I'm in. You know, it could, I, I, it was another game I had started, like the Junkyard Simulator. I just, I couldn't really get into that. Um, one I bought that I thought I was going to get into, Gas Station Simulator. I have yet to play that, to be honest with you. I bought it, I've got it, it looks like there's a new DLC coming out for it. I just can't. I just can't uh, muster up the time, really, um, to be honest with you, to get into it and get recorded and to you know, get it published and um, see if I can even get a, gain an audience with that. And I think I may have missed the mark on that, to be quite honest with you. That, that came out, you know, a few months ago. Uh, I don't know. But then again, you know, I started playing My Summer Car and I've gained a little bit of an audience with that. So, I don't know. Um, tell me your thoughts. I mean, I think of some of the games you've seen on my channel, you know, which ones are your favorite? I, I th if you look at statistically speaking, um, this one, Car Mechanic Simulator, is probably the most popular, honestly. So, and it's probably one of my my favorite games to play. So that kind of works out. Uh, a lot of people want me to stream more often. Eh, I, I, I like I wouldn't mind streaming. It's just that um, I think for the most part I like being able to 
just get the get some recorded and get them out there all right uh this bad boy there's should be yeah there should be no nothing there let's go ahead and strip this in down as much as possible i'm gonna go ahead and take all this crap out of here So a couple of things I really want to do first and foremost, fenders. I need fenders. So let's go ahead and grab the fenders for this bad boy. Oh, no spoiler. I don't like that. No spoiler. Um, look at these spoilers. Oh, 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 lit. You've given me way too many options, sir. Crap. What am I going to do? Okay. Um, Dude. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to go with that spoiler. I, I kind of like it. Um, the front end. Okay, so the front ends, like this is a BRZ, right? So in some of these, it's a Subaru, Subaru. I think that's a Subaru or a Toyota. I'm not sure. I can't really tell the insignia on it. Um, but I'm thinking, I like how big and open that is. And yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll see what it looks like. How's that? So this is going to be like a mismatch of vehicles. We'll stick with the BRZ doors and the BRZ front fenders. Right, let's get the windows for those. Yep. Uh... Hood, take hood B. Uh, the BRZ tinted. Yeah, we're gonna go BRZ tinted. Uh, tail lights. I don't know what I really want on that. Um, I think I want to go with the red look. All right, rear bumpers. Uh. I really don't know. I'll go with uh, bumper B, I guess. I guess I'll go with bumper B. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Rocket Bunny fenders, stock fenders. I think I'm gonna go uh, stock fenders right and left. I'm gonna go red. We're gonna go tinted BRZ, right? A uh, trunk. We're gonna go clear with it, and we're gonna go with the BRZ windshield. All right. Now I did all this just to. Uh, when I start putting the wheels on here, I need to know tire and wheel clearance. So that's why I kind of go with that. Does that kind of fit up okay? Yeah, I think so. BRZ tinted. So I did stick with, you know, oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, all right. I'm liking that. I'm going to stick with the BRZ doors. I didn't get the mirrors, did I? Windshield, windshield, fender. These are stock fenders. I'm going to stick with that, of course. Uh, rear bumper. I think that was going to be okay. Clear. We're going to go with that spoiler. The rear window, I know I got. Side windows, I got. I did not get... Where did the mirrors come from? Where's the mirrors? Did I get mirrors? No, I didn't. Huh. How the heck did I do that? Okay, mirror. Okay, because there's no other choices, just mirror. All right. Okay, lit. This is actually pretty cool. I can put everything together and put like a combination of pieces together. That work kind of works out. All right, we're going to go ahead and fix up the body here for a thousand bucks. Make sure everything looks legit. Yep, okay. Go ahead and put that away. No, no, no. Deny it. Don't want to do it again. Let's put you away. Uh, all right, let's grab the motor out of here. All right, now we got the motor out. Let's go ahead and see what I'm missing out of here. Uh, I'm missing some pieces here, I think. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, one, two, three, 
Dang, I'm missing a battery too. Yikes. Okay. All right, so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna get to first. Open the shopping list. Uh, hang on, we got to get to the parts list first, then open the shopping list. There we go. Uh, coolant reservoir D, gotcha. Uh, brake servo, yeah. The other pieces I'm gonna have to get. Windshield reservoir and air filter base. All right, let's let's see. A okay. So what I'm trying to do here is try to figure out air filter base. I need the cover for the air filter. Uh, I need clips for the A clip. Okay, I need four of you. Right. Uh, along with that, I need to go to the electronics. I need ABS battery and what was it else I needed out of here yikes maybe no no I think that was it all right tune-up shop get an ER filter um yeah I th think that's about it okay so battery reservoir Filter. Get everything underneath here. This is kind of a little backwards than what I'm used to doing. I'm used to like doing the suspension work first and then dealing with this. However, this is a front wheel or all wheel drive vehicle. I don't really know the way this engine sits in here. I'm not quite sure. Radiator. I got a single or a dual. It's a dual fan setup. Good. Anything else underneath here I forgot or can't see. Where is an ECU or fuse box? I don't see either of those. So I don't think it has one, I guess. Looking carefully here. All right, let's go ahead and get, what am I doing? Uh, here, here. Uh, dual radiator, dual cooling radiator. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. All right, that is done. All right, so part of my thing um, with this is that I, I like trying to use the original, the original engine the build um, this one's going to take a little bit longer of course because she's I've got a lot of pieces on here and I could probably come on I could probably like reuse a bunch of these pieces but I mean who cares right I, I have n tons of money to spend and I don't really care to deal with having to repair all these pieces like I am doing over at my um, my barn bargain series that I'm doing. That one's driving me nuts, man. I can't get that car done. I cannot get it done. I'm trying. I'm trying. I want to take this all down. And this may not be for not. Because look at the engine block. This engine block. You know what? This engine block looks like it's crap. Um... Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this. If this is, if this is, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die if this engine block sucks. What am I missing here? Oh, spark plug. Huh. Didn't even sit in there. We're going to see real quick just how bad this thing is.
And it does look like it's in horrible shape. Okay. So let's see if we can rebuild the block. Okay, that doesn't... No, it's 6% it shot. It sucks. It's out of here. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay. So, yeah. So much for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a bunch of pieces here and just start slapping this thing together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Head. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two... I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll get a handful of those. Uh, three of those, two of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. All right, I think I've got just about all the engine pieces that I need for right now. Um, what should I paint it? What is the Subaru's engine color painted anyway? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of this crap. Okay. Uh, some of this stuff, like the water pump, I know isn't a crankshaft. No, it's not there. A fuel filter, piston rings. I need uh, piston head, spark plug, camshaft, camshaft cap. Yes, I need, let's say, 14 of them, I guess. I'm guessing, totally guessing. Idler arm A. I'll pick up three of those. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Cam gear, two of you at least, because I have two camshafts. Serpentine belt one. Uh, belt tensioner one. Intake manifold, we're going to take a look at. Timing cover, one. Power string pump, I may have alternator pump. Uh, crankshaft pulley, yes, need that. Uh, flywheel, clutch plate, pressure plate, yes. Bearing, yes. All right. Now to go to the tune-up shop. Uh, open my shopping list back up. Does it have a water pump? No. I didn't think it did. Uh, fuel filter, yes. Uh, piston with Conrad, yes. Four, please. Uh, engine head, yes. We get, might as well get some uh, as much power out of this bad boy as we can. Spark plug camshaft, I need two of you, thank you. Idler cam gear, super team belt, belt tensioner intake, yes. Uh, timing cover power steering, yes. Alternator, yes. Uh, crankshaft, pulley, no. Flywheel, yes. A clutch plate, yes. And clutch pressure plate, yes. All right, on top of that, we go back here. We need caps. Cap for the uh, pistons. I also need crankshaft. I think I need three, if not four of those. And, uh, man, I need an oil pan. I don't know which one's for, though. Um, that's going to be difficult. I'm just going to have to come back for that. Uh, so, for the color of this engine, I think I'm just going to go with a straight up, um, probably a, a dark gray color. I think that's what I'm going to do. Probably a dark grayish. Well, you know, look at this. Um, blue, red. I guess I'll go with the... I uh, guess I'll just go with the black. Alright. Um, along with that, I do want to paint... Uh, 
Where's the timing cover on that thing? There it is. No. I can't paint the timing cover? You've got to be kidding me. Intake manic fault I can paint? Can't paint. <laughs> wow. That blows me away. I thought I could paint that thing. Alright. So, so much for that idea. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start putting this bad boy together because I am in need of some space and to get this thing taken care of. I don't feel like screwing around too much more on it because, hey, it's a Subaru. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about Subarus, to be quite honest with you. I don't have no idea. And this is the beauty of the junkyard, the junkyard uh, piece of it, is I just I pick up something out of there. I am not a Subaru guy, right? But I will do my best to make this as cool as possible. So, uh, let's see here, pistons. And with as much power as possible. See, I don't like cheap it out, right? So I'm not going to cheap it out and say, oh, that's just a super. I'm just going to put stock heads on it, blah, blah, blah. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I do my best to, uh, you know, give it give it a good... Uh, give it some... Uh, I, I don't know. Heck, I don't know what I'm saying here. I don't know if Subarus have a good reputation or not. So, you know, I just want to make sure it looks as cool as possible when it leaves my showroom floor anyway. And if you guys don't like it, then, hey, you, know, you guys don't have to like it. I, my job, is to make sure I try to do my best to make it look cool. And with some of the Litz pieces out there, I think we've done a pretty good job of how the body looks. With all the pieces to the... Uh, engine here, I think we've managed to get uh, a pretty good it doesn't even look like it got painted, does it? That's horrible. Okay. Single overhead. Oh man. Okay. So I may have screwed the pooch on that one. Alright, so I've got most of the engine pieces on it, I think, that are new. So I'm going to sell off some of these pieces. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Now, this is why I do pieces. This is why I do things one step at a time, because I get myself so scattered. Okay. Let's get back into my inventory. Let's get back into what I need here. Uh, I need, I need oil filter, sway bar, I need a transmission, drive shaft, cross member, two of those knuckles, six of those, oh my gosh, I should be selling them by name here, I'm all screwed up, two of those. Two of those, one of those. I don't know how many bushings I have going on now. Dang it. I have messed myself up. Alright, I think... <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Um, put you up in the air. Let's go into the suspension piece of it and uh, okay so for the front I need two of you two of you two of you 
All right, now I can go back to my shopping list. Um, I'll go ahead and get. No, I'll go ahead and get that. Um, front sway bar. Only need one of those. I don't know why I have two. Gearbox. I don't need right now. Drive shaft. One of front suspension cross member. One. There we go. Rubber bushing. Two. I think I need eight of these. Taking two for the lower. Steering rack. There we go. I don't know what that did. You have times two. Uh, cap, cap, inner. I'll probably do this. All right. So as far as the underneath here, I am not going to go crazy over this. I am going to, however, um, repaint my springs. I think I'm going to keep the, the black. I'm going to keep the black. Uh, 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 there we go. Black shock absorbers. And we're gonna go yellow with the springs. I don't know why I just wanted to haul off and just take off. The reason why I'm just doing the suspension like this now is because I don't know what actual color I want it to be. Fair enough, right? So I'm gonna keep it as neutral as possible and go ahead and just get it built. Um, the rear end is this setup right here. Um, you know, I just don't don't know what color I want these things. So I'm gonna stick with a neutral. Just stick with this. In your personal opinion though, when you, see, when you watch these videos, do you like the suspension painted or no? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Just curious, do you paint your suspension or is it just you know hit or miss whether or not you do it or not? I would be curious. That other bushing in there. I don't think this is a front wheel drive vehicle per se because this has a bearing and has a cap. Yeah, that's right. I did not get any brake stuff. Isn't that terrible? Okay. Um, we are going to delete that. We're going to go with that. We are going to get uh, calipers times two. I knew there was something else I needed to paint. I just didn't figure out. I didn't just didn't know what they were. Um, and regardless of what car it is, I want drilled and slotted all the way around. Okay. I think no matter what color I paint this bad boy, red, it's a red, gold, black. Um, hmm, I always go red, but it always could go something else. Um, let's go go let's see how this looks what does orange look underneath there oh, that looks red um and that's about as does this help in any way not really Okay, I'm gonna try and go with the whole orange thing. I don't know what I'm gonna paint the car, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll go with the orange. All right, 
I knew I forgot something when I was shopping. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, there's something else I'm missing here. Um, okay, so that's all good on that side. Go ahead, bounce over here. Put this side together. Everything's looking clean over here, which is good. Subaru being in a junkyard, man, this, this car got totally abused. What a shame. Regardless of a car, just, I don't know. Don't abuse a vehicle like that. Jeez, come on. Drilled and slotted all the way around. That's got to be the way to go. Okay. Uh, and link. And tire. Right, right. Um, get all the bushings in. Yep. So the front end is ready to go. And the engine. Let's spin you around to the side here so I can get underneath here. And I'm doing this already because I want to know what... <laughs> I want to know what oil paint I need to put on this stupid thing. So I go shopping again. Probably just a simple I-4 oil pan, but I don't know that yet. Yep, I4B. So there we go. Uh, let's spin you back over to the top. And what do we need here? We need exhaust manifold. We need cam gear. We need throttle. Fuel injectors times four, engine head cover, I uh, got the oil filter, and cam gear, all right, let's open up the shopping list here, get rid of, oops, uh, let's get rid of Exhaust manifold. Cam gear, no, that won't be in there. Throttle, yes, it will be in there. Fuel injector, yes, need four of you, thank you. Engine head cover, no. Cam gear A, no. So if we go back here, uh, head cover, yes. Uh, cam gear. Yes. Cam gear. Yes. Okay, I4B. So let's go with, uh, if I were to go I4B, I4B. Um, I know I'm going to need some of these. So I know I'm going to need that. And I'm going to need Is it timing chain? Going to need that for sure. Did I get the oil pan? I don't think so, but now I've got it. Okay. Uh, all right. Back over here. Tune up. If I put I4B in here, I4B. Uh, Exhaust section. I think that's the one that's going to be on there. Okay, I think that's. I'm trying to think ahead, trying to think of what else I'm going to need. Uh, oh, coil. These are going to be coils. Need four of those. I wish we could paint these. I really wish I could paint those. Okay, oil pan. I should have painted that oil pan, huh? 
Uh, that's fine. Turbocharger I4B turbocharger. Yes. All right, done. <laughs> Easy peasy. That goes with the belt. Tensioner. This cover would not paint. So no matter what, I think I'm just going to leave the oil pan alone because you can't paint that anyway. Can't paint this piece or this piece. You probably could with this piece, but I might as well match it all up, right? Ignition coil and ignition coil. Uh, throttle. Okay, let's get down in here and get these injectors. These injectors are tough, man. These bad boys in. Get one back here. Okay, cam gear. There's a cover that goes on here too. I should have gotten that. Uh, and the cover. So I need to get that cover. Uh, what's missing on the front? The pulley. I do not have that belt. Okay, so I'm going to need that belt and another roller. Oh, I need to cover back here too. So let's... go ah there we go holy cow that was tough uh, okay belt and pulley aha yes I got one of those all right am I done with the engine block in here I think so I think I'm good with it all right to take you off of the engine stand stick you back in a car all right how's you look in there it doesn't look too bad not too shabby I guess looks like any other engine four-cylinder engine in a Subaru close the hood there we go now we're gonna you back up in the air. Get this. What? What do you mean I don't have the necessary parts for that? <sighs> kidding me, right? You're killing me. <sighs> Good thing I'm not, uh, Okay, so, yeah. What's up with that? No other exhaust system on that? Kind of bummed about that. Uh, let's go gearboxes. There we go. All right, uh, medium cooler. Go back here. Where am I going? There we go. Medium cooler in there. Yep. Uh, drive shaft. We're not going to put in. Oh, there we go. There's a, there is an exhaust system under here. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting messed up here. All right. Uh, so what do I need here? I need a middle muffler, catalytic converter, rear muffler H. Got it. Middle muffler, check. 
Catalytic converter. Check. Rear muffler H. Check. Done, done, and done. Oh, and there's a exhaust pipe. <laughs> Missed that one. That's okay. Done. Alrighty. So we've got the. How does that match up with that rear bumper? That's my big thing. Ooh, yeah, it, it matches up nice back there. All right, before I get cr too crazy, uh, I think we've buttoned up everything we can. Let me sell off all these parts. Been a little scattered. Um, don't need as many of these as I thought we were going to need. I uh, need to keep the drive shaft, get rid of that section. Shock absorbers, you're out of here. I'm going to keep those for right now, just so that I know what kind of tires I need. Whew. All right. Now that we've done that, let's tackle the rear suspension and get this taken care of. These wheels that have come on it, one of my favorites, but I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different. And it's always, this is like one of the more complicated rear ends of the whole, of the whole series. This, this, these are just like crazy. A lot of pieces. I mean, easy enough to where we can get this thing disassembled and reassembled in no time. As long as I don't have too many rusty bolts to take care of, that's the thing. Man, those things slow you down. You get on a roll sometimes, you're like, ah, oh, rusty bolt. Okay, let's swing over this side. Need to get a fuel tank for this. I forgot to grab one of those while I was building everything underneath with the exhaust. So you hate when that happens. You go, oh, okay, I need to do that. And then you forget to do it. And then later on, you're reminded by probably someone else, hey, you forgot to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, going, I was meaning to get that. You get joked because, oh, yeah, no, you didn't. You just forgot. Oh, yeah, I did, but, you know. Man, wouldn't it be something if they started having you pay for this WD-40 stuff? Every time you have to use it, you know, you use it like, I don't know, 25 times. If you use it 25 times, you have an empty can, you have to buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be interesting. Like in Car Detailing Simulator, you got all the stuff there. You don't need to buy anything. Once you have only once you have the kits, your your kits don't ever run out of stuff, which is kind of strange to be honest with you. I mean, I like it for the gameplay; you don't have to worry about it, and you're just going at it. But you know, it just you just kind of lose lose a little something there. Um, let's see, I was going to let's get the gas tank. All right, I think I can I think I can figure that out. I don't need any parts there. So let's get the fuel tank. Oh yeah, I do need some parts there. Uh, need the fuel pump. Uh, there we go. Now, go back in here, sort by name. Yes. I don't need that. All these arms. All right. 
So you're probably wondering, why did I only have two of the bushings? Well, that's because I already know how many I need of each, right? So that's why I did that. Okay, so let's open this up and get rid of some of the crap we had in here already. Okay, brake caliper two. Nothing too special underneath here. Yeah, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Two of those. I it got into a rhythm. I kind of messed myself up. Okay, I think the springs are going to be the only thing I'm actually going to paint on this bad boy. Did it again. Uh, B cross member one. Those. Sway bar B one of those. Wait a minute. Oh my, I hate when that happens. Uh, geez, did I get one or not? <laughs> geez. Uh, rear wheel hub, two of those. Rubber bushing, so I need eight of those. Small rubber bushing, I need eight of those. So eight each, this type of rear end, you need eight each of those. Uh, spring caps times two. Times two of those. The hub times three, two. Ink and bearing. Okay, I think I've got everything I need to get. All right. God, I hope so. Alright, uh, here we go. Let me get my bearing straight on this so I can see what I'm doing. Do need to paint my springs, so I'll have to do that real quick. Oh, where am I going here? Pushing up. Put that in. Can't put the spring in because I have to get it painted. Need to have it painted that yellow. I don't know what it is about that, but I just have to have it painted yellow. It's always nice to go back together like this because everything goes back together so smoothly. Bearing, disc prick, drive. Oh, and I have to paint. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to go paint. <laughs> God, I had to paint those two. All right. Uh, you're going with the orange? Yep. And then we are going to paint springs the yellow. Just to give it a nice clean look underneath there. Nothing, not going too fancy with it, that's for sure. All right. Those two th items painted, we are back in business. Now all I have to do is decide on wheels and tires, and I'm still, you know, honestly, while well, I've been putting this thing together. I've been trying to figure out what wheels and wheels I want to put on it. <laughs> I am having a hard time on this one. This project's got me a little stymied. Um, I don't know which uh, which wheels to put on here. Okay, so put the drive shaft in. Okay, let's go over here to this side. Make sure I can get in with the camera angle so nothing gets too freaky looking. There we go. Pushing. Pushing. OK. 
cap. Ah, rear spring. If I really wanted to get really creative with this, I would have painted all these, all these rear pieces different colors. I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen over on the uh, Steam Discord channel. Oh my. I mean, more power to you, but wow. In my opinion, the more the colors you have, the, the gaudier it gets. And if you guys don't know where the word gaudy came from, go to Barcelona. <laughs> you will see what gaudy is all about. Gaudi wasn't a famous artist there, or an architect, actually. You should see some of the stuff he's done there. Absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, so I think I've got all the bits and pieces I need here. Let's check out my... <sighs> I got everything. Rear sway bar B, yep, I got everything. Okay, so let's sell the parts. Uh, sell off all these parts, sell parts. Yep, I'm going to sell that one too because... Hey, I'm out. All right. Now for the wheels. All right. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at 18-inch wheels. I could probably go with. Uh, let's see how these fit on here. 215, 215, 225 on the back. So take a quick look as to how these fit. Okay, there is a lot of clearance there. And these are 18s, right? So I could probably go. Yeah, man, I, I don't know if I'd want to go with a 20 on there. 19's an odd size, too. So maybe 19 is like an odd size. Maybe we go with a 19. All right, let's take a look to see what we have here. Not entirely sure what I want to put on it yet. So, stand by to stand by. This is a Subaru, so it would be kind of harsh to put 370Z wheels on it. Um, or would it? I don't know. Um, those have been one of my favorite wheels, some of my go to wheels. I really like those. Uh, Let's see here. While I'm trying to debate on these, I would I'd like to know what is your favorite wheel out of this whole bunch. Um, would love to know. Would love to know what these favorite wheels are. What your favorite wheels are. Uh, I think I may go. Like having some sort of a rim lip on it. Jeez, I'm looking at these. These Zonda wheels, those would look great, but they can't get painted. They are gold to stay. They are gold to stay. That is for sure. Um, Let's go with the Typhoons. I think maybe we're going to go with the Typhoons and we're going with a set of 19s, I think. We're going to go full 19s with the Typhoons. All right, with that... We are going to paint them... Uh, let's see... These are going to go 50 chrome, maybe? Um, no, let's go... Hmm. Um, 65, maybe 70... 75 chrome? We'll go 75 chrome. Yeah. Let's paint them 75 chrome. <laughs> T 
Typhoon wheels on here. Yikes. Let's probably just live it at this point. Why are you putting Typhoon wheels on my Subarus? My Subarus. Alright, so wheels. They are, we are running a 225.45, right? So I am thinking, I want to go, I think I do want to go stick with a sport tire. It was, we're going to go two, these are going to be 19s. Got two 25s on the back. Let's see if we can lay down a, a, let's see, two 25. We lay down to 45, 35. Let's see what that will look like. Get a quick balance going. And then we're going to test out the rear just to see how that's going to look. Primarily the stance and how much wheel space I have. Okay, so tons of wheel space. Uh, how far does it stick out? It doesn't stick out too far. I think we're pretty good there. Could probably go. Could probably actually go a little bit wider than that, couldn't I? All right, let's uh, let's go a little bit wider. Okay, so that's a 245, right? So we will go sport tire two. We're gonna go 19. It's a 245. So we're gonna go with a 265, 35. Yeah, let's try those on. Let's try that on for size, shall we? As I get a little bit wider, this this sidewall gets a little bigger as well. I want 245, 265. See how the wide the sidewall is just a little bit thicker. We've gone a little bit wider with the wheel. Now I'm gonna keep the 245s because they may fit up front really well. A 245. Man, I could still go out a little bit farther with that. All right, 265. We're gonna go 285. All right, two, 19, 285, 35. Man, I cannot believe. This should be about where I need to be. 285. I would not have thought going that freaking wide on the, on the back of this. Coming from a 245, basically. That's That'll do her. That will do her right there. That's what I'm looking for. 285, 285, right there. Kind of a heavy beast. All right, so for the front, um, geez, I'm gonna have to go through the same process, I think, because I don't know which ones to put on the front. You will be happy to know that while I've been goofing around with these wheels and tires, I have come up with a color for this car. But as I've done that, I think I need to change the tail lights on it too. Um, 
All right, so we're going to go with the front. We'll go with the Typhoons. We're going to try the 265s. We'll try the 265s up front just to see what happens here. Is that going to fit up front? How are you fitting, my friend? Uh, I think you are good to go. So we'll slap the other 265 on there. 245, 245, 265, yep. Also, what I want to do is grab myself the other taillights. I think I want to go with uh, taillight D. All right, grab that. Okay, as I've got it back here. These look so much better in person. Oh, no, no, not that one. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right, let's set her on the ground and see what she looks like. So before I go too far with this bad boy, let's uh, <sighs> we gotta do what we, we gotta do what we need to do here. We need to fill up all the fluids. This fluid thing, crazy. Okay, you're done. Oil. What was a coolant reservoir on here, right? Yeah, we got that. Steering. And brake fluid. Ah. Okay, I think that's about it. some reason I feel like that that is a carbon fiber piece we'll fire we'll figure this out in a minute oh I didn't need to do the interior yet um, all right uh, what do I want to do for the interior hmm. let's go I think we're just gonna go with the basics I think I want to get two of these and I'm gonna get uh, basic one of those okay interior done that does the back seat have like inserts or is that I may have to change this up let me move this out to the let me move this out to the front here real quick we take a look on the inside I uh, can't tell but it looks like uh, red stitching in it hmm do we have I think we do something with some red stitching in it I mean we have the Jaguar seats that might look pretty cool in there um, I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone for right now. I think we're good. All right, we're going to send you over to the paint booth. Yeah, I didn't realize the red stitching was in there, to be honest with you. So, my paint color. Orange. <laughs> I 
Um, I didn't think about that until it's gonna be like a red orange, I think. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it until after. After I, I when I saw the the wheels, I was like, ah, that could be pretty cool. Uh, saturation full brightness. We're gonna go a little darker. Go solid. Pearl Mac, no. Chameleon, no. Matt and the Chameleon, no. Custom, no. Um, well, it's kind of glossy, right? I don't want to go too metallic-y. If I went metallic, eh, I don't know. Um, don't know. Custom. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with. Let's see how that is. See how that's that hood. So now that I see that, um, that hood's coming off. Um, and then we're gonna paint you up. Go gloss. I do want it to darken up the darken it up a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Alright, paint the car. Alright. I'm gonna put the hood back on it. Just a plain Plain looking hood because that's what you know like this back here looks like so I'm gonna kind of ma matches it matches it up a little bit all right um, car part two ooh um, I didn't put those on there did I let's remove the hood miss that hey okay, car part two alrighty um, where was those at I didn't remember seeing those even listed Car part two. Okay. Okay, these are stock. Oh, it's left. Then there's right. Duh. Okay, car part three. Uh, side skirt, side skirt, stock. Yeah, we'll stick with the stock. I think we'll stick with the stock, right? Or wait a minute, let me see what we have options here. We may have some options here. Hang on. Uh, right side skirt, it was 3, 3B, 3C, 3D, 3E, 3F, or 3G. Man, we've got plenty of options here. Okay. So, 3G. Uh, no. Oh, that goes all the way. Oh, wait a minute goes all the way back um, okay hang on did not realize that um, 3g what's 3f 3f is thin okay so far 3g has it um, it's 3e uh, no not Fond of that funky look to it. 3D. Not fond of that one either. So far, 3G's got me going. Uh, 
Three C. Very similar to three G. But I think I'm gonna go with three G. I really do. Uh Wait a minute, 3G and 3C look the same, but what does stock look like now that I see that? It's just there. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. Um, actually, I think we're going to go with 3, 3C. Yeah, we'll go with 3C. All right, so this side, I need to get 3C for the other side. Left side... Uh, need two C. There we go. All right, now let's try to paint it again and see what we got. There we go. <laughs> I think I think we've got it now. All right. Now we're gonna put uh, put this on. All right, let's go ahead and send you. Uh, come on, normal mode. Uh, move you out to the front. I think that will about do it, ladies and gentlemen. Just one more thing. Forgot to put the license plate on it. The finishing touches. The Quasar masterpiece. I'm running low on those. I'm gonna have to buy some more. All right, the Subaru actually the Subaru actually turned out pretty dang cool looking. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I think it actually turned out uh, much better than I thought it would. Um, I do like it, uh, but now it is up to you. Let me double check here. I do believe everything is a hundred percent, right? Yeah, we are. Wait a minute, starter. Left body A window. Oh no. Okay. Did I get a window? No, I did not. And I need a starter. Oh my gosh. I'm such an idiot. Okay, 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 okay. Got this. I got this. I got this. Wow. Alright. And I need a starter. I'm such a dork. Oh my god. How did I, how did I forget that? Nope, I need to go electronics and get the starter. All right. See, it shouldn't have let me move it, in my opinion. It shouldn't have let me move it to the paint booth without it. All right. All right, now we're 100% across the board. I apologize for that. Oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. So what is our stats on here anyway? Look at that, 90 grand profit. Oh, yikes. All right. Here we go. Nice little Subaru by Lit. What do you think of it? Let me know your comments down below. Should I save it or should I sell it? I appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, I hope you guys stay happy and healthy while we are cruising through all of this crap in Quasar's Customs. Hope I see you again next week. And until the next time, keep customizing. Keep building. Search Quasar is saying goodnight, and uh, I am out. Hey, everyone, you think I forgot? <laughs> uh, April Fools. All right, let's head this over to um, Test Path. Let's get some stuff taken care of here. All right, yeah. <laughs> you thought I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Let's take care of this real quick and then let's see just how much power this bad boy puts down. Uh, gotta line all these puppies up. There we go, and oh, that one's a little high. There we go. And. Move you to the dyno. Yes, I do want to proceed. Let's go.
279 horsepower factory. 281 foot pounds of torque. That's not bad for a factory. Factory engine. But what do we get here? Ooh, 470 horsepower, 447 foot pounds of torque. Not bad. I was hoping to catch about 500 on that, but about 30 horsepower short. It's alright though. It's okay. Alright. Now we are complete. So again, let me know what you think. Should I save it or should I sell it? I'll catch your comments down below. Get them in before Friday night. Alright. Catch you guys later. First Quasar saying goodnight all. I am out. For real this time. I'm out.